How does something get copyrighted? You think of something creative and put it in a tangible form. You don't need to apply for rights or report that you created something. As soon as it is created, you have copyright rights, or at least someone has copyright rights. If you're writing for yourself and on your own time, you own the copyright. So all those papers and poems and Snapchats you've created are yours to control. Things get a little more complex when you create something for a fee or salary. In those cases, your employer may be the one to own the copyright. You or your employer can also transfer your copyright. If you write an article that gets published, often the contract you sign will transfer the copyright to the publisher. If you're creating something on an app or website, you should also check the terms and conditions. Often the terms and conditions that we agree to and don't read will set who owns the copyright to materials created using the app or site tools and it usually isn't you. There are also some things that can't be copyrighted because they aren't considered to be creative. Things like clothing, recipes, furniture, jokes, and magic tricks are considered utilitarian design items. Facts, data, and titles also aren't protected by copyright. And there are things that are creative, but also not covered by copyright, and are considered to be in the public domain. These include government publications, since they are paid for by tax dollars, works published prior to 1924, and works whose copyright has expired, 